In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Skyrim Script Extender, SKSE, and this works pretty much for any version of the game, in my case for Skyrim Special Edition. So what you want to do first is you want to go and download 7-Zip or any other extractor utility. You want to make sure that you're able to extract uh, archives. You have two links here for 32 bits and 64. Then you want to go to skse.silverlock.org. I'm going to leave you all of these links in the description below. And you want to pick the SKSE for your version of the game. The first one is for Skyrim Legendary Edition. And you don't have to install via Steam. You, you should go with the manual 7Z archive. Second one is for Special Edition. And then you have for VR. For me, it's Special Edition. So I already have this. Once you download it, extract it anywhere you want. And then simply select all of these files. Go to Copy. Actually, you don't need a text file, but it's OK. Navigate to the uh, root folder of the game. In my case, it's right here. Then go paste. And since I already have it, I'm overwriting it. But this is what you will be doing when you're updating it. And it's very important to keep it updated. So make sure that you do all of that. Now you can go ahead and close this. You don't need that anymore. Pretty much installed at this point. If you want to check, go to uh, your mod manager. I'm using mod organizer, which I highly recommend. I think it's the best one. And here you have a little drop down, and now you will see you have SKSE in the drop down. And this is basically an instance of Skyrim with script extender enabled. So, what you can do is you can create a shortcut and put it on your desktop. And then you can rename the shortcut and put something like Skyrim mods, for example. And if you want to be fancy, you can go to properties and you can also change the icon and then navigate to the root folder of the game pick up the executable, it will pick up the graphic from there. Click OK, OK, and that's it. Now when you start uh, from here, you will be starting an instance of Skyrim with SKSE. So now I'm going to jump in and we're going to test if it works. All right, so to test if you've installed SKSE properly, all you have to do is open the console. That's the little key on the left side of your keyboard under the escape key. Then simply type get SKSE version. Press enter, and if you see this, it means you've installed it properly. And that's it for this quick little guide. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Subscribe for more Skyrim videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video.